I'm Chef Dewey with Hospitality Services at Texas Tech University. Today we're at Red Red Meats. We'll do some grilling exercises using some local product and supporting our campus. So if you want a brisket that you can cook immediately, you want to get it out of this cooler. They have some really good spice blends, especially the fish one. And we come to all their beef, pork, lamb, goat. So this is called a tomahawk because they leave the rib bone on the rib by itself. So get it, tomahawk. <laughs> a regular ground beef 80-20 mix. This is what we'll be using today. We're gonna make um, a blended burger. Mushrooms have an umami flavor, which is a meat flavor. It blends right into the burger and you can't even tell the mushrooms are there. Some key points when you're getting it ready to make your burgers is it's already ground, it's already mixed. If you over mix it, the texture will not be um, quite what you're expecting or wanting. So because it's already mixed and blended, we're gonna be as minimal as we can be when we re-blend it, right? I'm gonna take some salt and some pepper. I'm gonna put that in there. And then it's really up to you on what mushroom you use. You can use any mushroom. It doesn't have to be a cremini. You could use portobello, shiitake, whatever kind of mushroom you like. It's really on your budget and your personal preference. And you can chop them up with your knife. You just wanna get it pretty fine. The finer you get it, the more flavor will come through and it, it'll even out a little more in the patty itself, right? The easiest thing to do is just grab your cheese grater and grate your mushroom into your meat. Right, so we have two pounds of meat and we're probably gonna put three or four ounces worth of mushrooms with that meat. But if I needed to stretch it even further, I could just keep adding a little more mushroom. You just wanna be careful on your mix to try to stay around almost a three to one. We don't need any binder, like meatloaf or anything like that. We just want our mushroom and seasonings. So I'm just gently pulling this apart, kind of breaking it up not being hard on it. I just want kind of a consistent size piece. So just get some basic ring cutters and then using this to fill, give you a more consistent, even uh, burger so that when you're cooking, they cook evenly, they cook more consistently as well. So I'm just gonna get that in there, try to get the air out of it and then put a dimple in the center. That way when it's cooking, it won't puff up in the middle on the grill. I'm just going to put them on the grill here, kind of going in between the flame so you can control your cooking better that way. The better you can control your temperature, the better you can cook things more evenly and um, um, have a little bit more consistent doneness on the different things you're cooking. Good point when you're grilling anything, chicken, beef, lamb, pork, whatever, if it's sticking, it's a sign you need to let it cook a little bit longer. Wait for your meat to finish cooking and searing and it'll flip just fine. See, those just came right up. No sticking. All right, now that we're mostly done, we're cooking on the last side. And because I just want a little more color and char, I'll move it over to the fire a little better so we can get some of that smoky char on there. And there it is, a blended burger. <laughs>